Hey guys, welcome to this week's video of the Justice Corps, and in this week we will be talking about the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Because I remember, uh, I don't, I'm not sure what video we talked about DC Comics, so now we're gonna incorporate uh, Marvel, of course. Yeah. So we're gonna be uh, get started with uh, Captain America: Civil War, which comes out next year. I'm so excited! I'm I ready. Know, I'm, I know. I'm this so is ready. this is the movie that's gonna go against uh, Batman vs Superman, oh, so it's definitely. really exciting to. You know, just expect both of those movies coming out at the same year. Captain America Civil War, just by the name of it, it just sounds so it crazy. Sounds, it's yeah, so amazing. And, and at this point, we haven't gotten like any trailers, any D23 released a little bit of like what they're gonna do in Civil War, but other than that, there yeah. has been no trailers. They released that, no. and then they released some uh, images or some concept art of Doctor Strange with yeah. uh, Benedict Cumberbatch. We don't have anything to go off of at, at this point, so. It's, we just, it's still, it's, we've gotten like the, the pictures of who mm -hmm. Siemens and who, so uh, yeah. if you've seen uh, Captain America's and Iron Man's, uh, it looks amazing, it looks exciting. The one thing that has this uh, worry is that it might not be anything like the uh, comic book uh, storyline, Civil War. It might be just some random story that they're making up. And they're just using the Civil War title because it's a big title, you Yeah, know? which sucks because the Civil War storyline is such a huge storyline in the oh, Marvel, yeah. uh, in the Marvel uh, Universe. So uh, by naming it Civil War, uh, you're taking such a big name into this film that a lot of people are going to think that it's about it's, Civil War. It's about Civil War, it's about the Pro-Registration uh, Act and the Anti-Registration Act. And yeah. that Spider-Man is going to be a pivotal point, the Punisher, uh, the Fantastic Four, you know. All of that is pivotal points, but like since Marvel doesn't have the rights to Fantastic Four, you know, that whole little side story thing won't really go on, but yeah. it's, it, we just both reread all, all parts one through seven, and we're just a little scared that it a won't be... A lot of characters that aren't, aren't going to be in it, so mm -hmm. it's just, like, I mean... Uh, Wiccan uh, and Cloak yeah. and Dagger. We have, uh, we have hope, but, you know, we just gotta hope for the best. Let's see where it goes. Netflix shows, we're having Daredevil Season 2, uh, which is coming. Also, uh, Iron Fist. And Jessica Jones. Jessica Jones. Uh, and then we're having The Punisher in Daredevil Season 2. That's right. So that's really exciting because I can't wait. It, that's the year that both, like, uh, two superheroes fight each other. Yeah. Like Batman, Superman, Iron Man, Captain America, Punisher, Daredevil. Yeah. Amazing. We're so... Everyone's just fighting everybody. <laughs> let's just, let's fight right now. <laughs> let's go, let's do it. <laughs> no, seriously, let's do it. <laughs> all right, but yeah, it's just really exciting to see uh, all these heroes fighting each other, okay. which is, is something that I guess we haven't seen before in the cinematic universe or TV universe. And I mean, come on, this is the yeah, this is it's the, all new, you know, like the time of the superheroes. This is the time of superheroes over. and sliding uh, Suicide Squad. You know, like we're getting we're getting like a whole bunch of new. We're things. getting new, yeah, new things, new things, and it's awesome. But and Daredevil season one was amazing. Mm. And everyone loved it, and so Daredevil season two, I believe, it's just gonna, it's just gonna. Hit. We, we hope it, it gets better, you know. Like not yeah. saying that the first episode or the first the season first was bad, just you know, like we always want, we want to see something better, you know. So of course season one sets the limit, and then now we want to see season two top season one. Right, right. It's just, it's so exciting. We have a lot of stuff to watch. Oh yeah. Really, and I, I really want to know if they're gonna tie in the. Uh, like Luke Cage with uh, Daredevil. I'm pretty sure they do. Because they released images. I don't know if you've seen it. We'll show you right here. They showed the image of Daredevil and also the, the image for uh, Jessica Jones. Yeah. In the background, you can see the, uh, the, the Avengers Tower. Tower. Yeah. 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 So that's one uh, thing that we should be looking forward to. Now, moving over to Fox, we have um, X-Men. X-Men, and we also have uh, Fantastic Four. Right. With Fantastic Four, we are all a little... So we were all a little disappointed with uh, Fantastic Four. We, we both had high hopes for it, and unfortunately, it just kind of didn't live up to the expectation. But you know, we were like I'm just saying, like Fantastic Four could have been a lot better. And I was I was so hoping that it was just gonna be you know phenomenal, this great fan four stick movie. But unfortunately, it wasn't, and we'll just have to accept that and move on. X-Men Apocalypse, we've gotten uh, a couple pictures, we'll show you right here, we've gotten pictures of uh, all the new X-Men coming out, well, not new, but the young versions of them, or the like different, colors, different, like uh, the yeah. different universe of them. Uh, we got our new first uh, look of Apocalypse, uh, like a couple months ago. Yeah. yeah. 
and mm. people don't really like it. What do you think? And that's another big movie for a big X Men. Oh, uh, a big, it's just a big story that they're giving us out, and it's gonna go against Civil War, Batman vs Superman, mm -hmm. all this. So, uh, like, how do you, how do you, how do you compete with the father of all mutants? You know, like the one who created everyone else. Or I guess the question is, what do you do in a movie with that? You know, like, what do you do with that movie? Yeah, like so, you're all doomed. So what? Exactly. What's the point you know, of this like, movie? I mean, the last movie that we got, which was Days of Future Past, that was such a mm -hmm. great movie. Oh yeah. So this one, I believe, is still gonna. I hope it's still gonna be up there because it's such, it's a different universe. Everything got changed. Every, everything is now movie. renewed, and so basically everyone can come back or everyone can. Dial or anyone can come in, just like Deadpool, which oh, yeah. he's gonna be able to do that with anything really. Because he's Deadpool. Just because he's Deadpool and such a such a great power, I guess <laughs> I can do whatever the hell I want. So you know, the, uh, I have, guess the knowledge of knowing that like he's a comic character or something like that, yeah, so he just kind of goes knows, into he knows that he could talk to us right Breaking now. Breaking the fourth wall. Yeah. So we have Ryan Reynolds as Deadpool, and we got the trailer as well. We can show it to you right now. I can't wait. Rated R, and I, I, I just want to go to the theater and just laugh. Like, oh, yeah. Just oh, yeah. enjoy that movie, and Deadpool is just... Especially that little that little clip they gave us in the trailer where they were saying, like, you look like, you know, this, you look like that. Yeah. And you look like you're, like, an old man's ball sack burning yeah. and stuff like <laughs> that, you know? Uh, we all wanted it, you know? Like, Ryan Reynolds wanted it, we wanted it, so we're finally we getting it. We wanted a real Deadpool. Oh, yeah. We wanted Not a real... like that. Wanted more like that. There, we, there go. we go. But yeah, um, speaking of the, the talks about a X Men movie with fan, with the Fantastic Four, like a, cro like yeah, a giant crossover Yeah, I heard that too. That they, 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 they still want to keep doing a, a Fantastic Four sequel after that, after what happened. Huh? Like, oh, okay. Yeah. Cool. Agents of Shield season three coming out. They're giving us uh, Chloe Bennett's uh, her character. I believe in Sky. Uh, her superpower. She's so cute. Anyways, uh, Quake. We got our first picture, like, I think three days ago. We'll show you right here. She looks amazing. And I wonder if she's going to go up in the in the movies, like, at one point. Uh, you know, we, we might. Since the since the Marvel Cinematic and TV universes are connected, it's, uh, it's a fair possibility. All right. Oh, well, man, this is all exciting, baby. Well, I no. think that's all the time we have today. I hope that you guys enjoyed this uh, quick little video of us talking about the Marvel Cinematic slash TV universe. What are you most excited for? Please let us know in the comment section. You can always like, comment, subscribe at any given moment. Here I go. Here I go again. What's my weakness? Just us.